What's up, party people? BQ here with the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. As always, if you're a first timer, please hit the subscribe button. The goal is 4,000 subscribers by the Redemption pay per view. Not quite on pace to make that happen, but hopefully, with your help, we can get it popping and make it a reality. So, match we're talking about today. Day two of the preview for the upcoming Impact Wrestling Crossroads special show is going to be the X Division versus the Impact Grand Championship unification match. I'm calling it a unification match because it's title versus title, and I think it's pretty safe to say this is the way they're going to write the Grand Championship off of television totally. I don't know quite exactly what they're doing with it yet, but it's Matt Seidel versus Ishimori. They, they've given Ishimori uh, this past episode a little bit of my mic time. Um, I don't know if you want to call it mic time, him saying the word douchebag. But he came up with the Japanese scroll and everything. And it tied into Matt Seidel reading from the scroll when he had the uh, match with P.D. Williams in Canada. So Matt Seidel is the one responsible on television for getting rid of the Impact Grand Championship rules. And now it just kind of feels like another X Division title. So it's got an updated, I'm sorry, an outdated logo on there. So I have to believe it's going bye bye. Don't really know yet if there's going to be another mid card title. But this should be the match of the evening, wrestling wise. I've always liked Matt Seidel ever since he was Evan Bourne. And I really think that he made. He, he made innovative wrestling cool before innovative wrestling was cool. Like I, I really think he was like one of the, the first guys to really just pull out moves we haven't seen before. Ishimori has done some fabulous work. Can't believe I just used the word fabulous, but I did. Phenomenal work on Impact Wrestling. But he's just Taji Ishimori. Like there's no real character to him other than he's from Pro Wrestling Noah. Every match he's had so far has been really, really good. That finish he does, phenomenal. And uh, he, he just has a great arsenal of moves, as does Matt Seidel. So I really think this is going to be the match. Like, if there's a four-star match on this card, it's going to be this one. I'm liking what they're doing with the spiritual advisor thing. Kind of wish they used some different terminology because we just had the match between Tim Storm and Josephus while... That wasn't, you know, on Impact Wrestling Television. It was highly promoted by Impact. And he has the spiritual advisor, which I still think is the greatest character going in wrestling today. But Matt Seidel has a spiritual advisor as well. Something I had said yesterday, I probably should have said this early. I have disabled the comments for these videos so that there are no spoilers in there when we're talking about Crossroads. I'm getting the impression that my, Matt Seidel is going to reveal the spiritual advisor, whoever he or she may be. And I think that could play into the finish of the match. I hope it doesn't because I really want to see these two go at it without a dirty finish. Some people have said that Matt Seidel has been doing heelish things and laying the groundwork for a heel turn. I do think a heel turn is coming, but I don't see it as far as like whatever groundwork he's laying. Probably because being a heel doesn't come very natural to him. But I'm glad to see the progression in his character. Because I really feel like the whole, you know, I'm Matt Seidel. Hoorah, I'm going to be the X Division champion. Yay, yay. Like the whole white, be white meat baby face thing. Um, I, I just think it's been there, done that with Matt Seidel. So it's time to see something very, very different from him. So my prediction for this one, I do believe Matt Seidel is going to come out as the X Division and Grand Champion. X Division Champion and the Grand Champion. I believe it's he's probably going to unify the titles and wrestle as the X Division Champion going forward. Again, I don't know what they're going to do with the mid-card title. I think they do need something, but they're not going to rush it. So that's what I've got, and I also... Strongly believe this will be the match of the night. I don't see how it can't be. But uh, you never know that that uh, tag team championship match could be pretty damn good too. Even the main event. It, it's just a good card overall. I do wish Impact would back off a little bit on, on calling everything stacked and everything a dream match. You know, something we say in the marketing world is, you know, under promise but over deliver. You know, let the um, let your actions do the speaking instead of, 
you know, pumping everything up to, well, this is just going to be the greatest thing you've ever seen in your life. Cause then people end up disappointed. You know what I mean? So under promise over deliver. And, um, I think you'll be in good shape. So I've got Matt Seidel winning this one and should be a phenomenal match. Talk to you guys soon. Please hit that subscribe button. Peace.